Causative agent of tuberculosis. Human tuberculosis is caused by pathogenic strains of tuberculosis mycobacterium, mainly mycobacterium tuberculosis and mycobacterium bovis. They're able to penetrate, live and proliferate in human organisms due to this main specific feature, virulence. Virulence can vary, increase or decrease under the effect of environmental factors and the condition of the microorganism. Virulence is mainly defined by genetic mycobacterial structure. Genome structure of pathogenic strains of mycobacterium tuberculosis and mycobacterium bovis is 99.9% .9 identical and contains approximately 4,000 genes. The genome of the mycobacteria contains specific region RD1. In the region, pathogenic mycobacteria encode the synthesis of specific proteins, CFP10 and ESAT6, which are produced as a result of active mycobacterial proliferation in the human organism and define their virulent properties. Formation of anti-tuberculosis immunity. To prevent severe forms of tuberculosis in children, newborns are vaccinated with BCG. The vaccine contains live strains of Mycobacterium bovis BCG. In contrast to virulent strains of tuberculosis, Mycobacterium, the vaccine strain, Mycobacterium bovis BCG, does not contain a fragment of genome RD1, which encodes secretion of protein CFP10 and ESAT6, mediating the main virulent properties of the infectious agent. The vaccination results in persistent anti-tuberculosis immunity under and over seven years. Contamination. A patient with an active form of tuberculosis releases mycobacteria to the environment when he coughs, sneezes and talks. Most frequently, people are contaminated with inhalation of air which contains pathogenic tuberculosis mycobacteria. Insufficient activity of mucociliary clearance in upper respiratory airways predetermines mycobacterial penetration into trachea, bronchi, and finally terminal bronchioles, alveoli. Mycobacteria easily penetrate from alveoli to lymphatic vessels and are spread to the body with lymphatic flow. The most frequent sedimentation areas and subsequent deposition of the infectious agent in human organisms are intrathoracic lymph nodes, more rarely lungs and other organs. Cell immunity. When a human subject contacts with virulent mycobacterium tuberculosis strains, human sensibilization to the infectious agent occurs and reaction of cell-mediated anti-tuberculosis immunity forms. Sensibilization. In the localization zone of the infectious agent, macrophags actively absorb tuberculosis mycobacteria, process of phagocytosis, where their degradation and death occurs. Specific antigens of tuberculosis mycobacterium, and in particular protein CFP10 and ESAT6, which determine virulent properties of the infectious agent, come to the surface of macrophag plasma membrane and present to T lymphocytes. The macrophag releases anti-inflammatory cytokines, interleukins, attracting T lymphocytes to the site of infection. They read the information about antigens from macrophag membranes and turn to memory cells. Delayed hypersensitivity reaction or inflammatory hypersensitivity. Activated T lymphocytes produce effector cytokines, interferon gamma, and tumor necrosis factor alpha. They attract a large amount of cells from capillaries to the infection site, macrophags, lymphoid cells, granulocytes, etc. The cells are involved in granuloma formation and thus inhibit distribution of tuberculosis mycobacteria in the organism. Development of tuberculosis process. The outcome of primary contamination with tuberculosis mycobacteria depends on mycobacterial virulence, intensity and duration of bacterial load, and the human organism and its immunity. Accordingly, tuberculosis infection may develop in one of three directions. First variant, 
In 90 to 95 percent of cases, the pathological process does not develop in persons with adequate immune response and moderate bacterial load after contamination with mycobacterium tuberculosis. After granuloma formation in macrophags, intensive death of mycobacteria occurs with subsequent apoptosis of macrophags. In the central part of granuloma, Cassius necrosis forms. Around the site of infection, dense fibrous membrane capsule forms, which restricts the infected area from adjacent healthy tissues. The disease does not develop. The second variant. The mycobacterium population escapes from the toxic effect of macrophags and preserves within them in low activity. Dormant, sleeping condition of mycobacteria. In such conditions, the disease does not develop, but the risk remains of getting sick in the future when a human immune system is weakened. Being exposed to HIV infection, treatment with immunodepressants, tumor necrosis factor alpha blockers, severe chronic stress, severe diseases, starvation, infected persons with high disease risk, which have not had chemoprophylaxis, activate dormant sleeping mycobacteria, which predetermines the disease development. Third variant: the organism of five to ten percent of infected people, which have large bacterial load, active proliferation, and increased mycobacterial virulence. As well as immune deficiency, is not able to manage with the infection, which results in the disease development. Mantu test. Over a period of 100 years, tuberculin diagnostics is made worldwide. Intradermal Mantu test with tuberculin to define specific sensibilization of the organism to Mycobacterium tuberculosis. Tuberculin. Is a culture filtrate which contains a large number of Mycobacterium antigens. They are inherent to tuberculosis, non-tuberculosis, and vaccine strains of Mycobacteria. As a result of primary immunization with BCG vaccination, contamination with Mycobacterium tuberculosis, mature memory T cells accumulate in the organism, which keep information about antigenic properties of already familiar Mycobacteria. In response to tuberculin injection, when intradermal Mantu test is made, the immune reaction of delayed hypersensitivity type is triggered. Positive Mantu test develops. BCG vaccination, sensibilization with non-tuberculosis mycobacteria, contamination with mycobacteria and tuberculosis. The test results in persons with positive Mantu tuberculin test are hard to interpret by physicians. It is difficult to determine the necessity of additional tests and preventative treatment. Low specificity and a large percentage of false positive reactions to Mantu test result in hyperdiagnostics of the disease and unreasonable preventive therapy. Meanwhile, positive reaction is frequently considered as post-vaccinal. If active tuberculosis infection. And high disease risk are present. Test systems for interferon gamma release, called in vitro IGRA. The results of international studies, which aim to interpret Mycobacterium genome and detect region RD1 specific for strains of Mycobacterium tuberculosis and Mycobacterium bovis. Have led to the development of two variants of diagnostic test systems, which are called test systems for interferon gamma release (IGRA). And such test systems are based on laboratory evaluation of interferon gamma released by activated memory T cells in response to stimulation with recombinant protein ESAT6 CFP10. Fresh blood, which is taken from the study subject, is required from the analysis. System ELIS POT T SPOT DOT TB evaluates visually or with the devices the number of stain zones, i.e., sensibilized peripheral T cells, which release interferon gamma after incubation with recombinant protein CFP10 ESAT6. System ELISA quantiferon TB gold in tube evaluates concentration of interferon gamma in blood plasma. 
with enzyme-linked immunosorbent analysis after incubation of whole blood with recombinant protein CFP10, ESAT6, quantiferin TB gold in tube. IGRA test systems have a wide range of disadvantages which prevent their use in population screening for tuberculosis. In particular, high cost, necessary equipped laboratory and specialist, special strict requirements of biological material preparation for the test, storage conditions and precise blood processing, as well as required intravenous manipulations in children. So far, IGRA test systems require further studies to define their relevance in tuberculosis diagnostics. Dear Skin Test Recent developments of Russian scientists have led to the improved quality of diagnostics of tuberculosis infection in the innovative intradermal test Deer Skin Test. It is made with a recombinant protein, combination of CFP10 and ESAT6, which are essential proteins determining virulent properties of tuberculosis mycobacteria, forming with active proliferation in the organism. The proteins are not synthesized by vaccinal strain Mycobacterium bovis BCG, as well as by most non-tuberculosis mycobacteria. Therefore, in contrast to tuberculin, deer skin test does not give cross-reaction on antigens of vaccine strain BCG and most non-tuberculosis mycobacteria. The deer skin test is identical to the Mantu test and does not require special skills and material expenses the resulted reaction is evaluated in 72 hours. The drug action is based on developed immune delay type hypersensitivity reaction. The deer skin test gives positive reactions with papilla of any size, with active proliferation of mycobacteria and adequate immune response on specific antigens CFP10 and ESAT6 in persons with high disease risk and at early stages of active tuberculosis infection. Due to high, almost 100% specificity, the deer skin test almost does not give false positive reactions in relation to BCG vaccination and sensibilization with non-tuberculosis mycobacteria. It allows for diagnosing active tuberculosis processes with high accuracy, as well as infected persons with high disease risk. <laughs>